the text split function, which is new in Excel for web and the current channel, uh, it'll be rolling out over the next six months. It is awesome. And it's a great little hack that you can use to make it dynamic. I'll show you how. Let's go. This is my Excel for web version, okay? And I'll show you the text split function. Equals text, text split, okay? And there's text join, text before. There's all sorts of new ones, okay? Text split. I like this little pop-up box, I, th I think. I might get a bit annoying as I get more expert at this stuff, but I can't select the cells underneath. Um, so you have to then move it. I get what they're doing with this, but I'm not sure I like it. Um, I've just changed my mind in the space of two seconds. Um, okay, so text split. Click on a word, comma, the column delimiter. Okay, I want it to split into columns. So using a space, close the bracket, press enter, and now it's split it into two separate cells. Or you could nudge that along a little bit. So by putting an extra comma, and now it's a row delimiter as a space. And again, depends what the, the separator is. It's like Power Query, you know, split to rows. Awesome. I could even, um, or I could wrap that now inside a uh, inside a rows, which is like count rows in um, in DAX if you're ever using that. Rows, two rows. Okay, so there's two words, three words, seven words, four words. Okay, pretty cool. Let me get rid of the rows bit. I just want to show you this. Um, so that's all good, right? That is great, but let me get rid of these ones. If I change this back to the columns, I can't make it dynamic. So I can't like, I, let's, let's say I turn this into a table, okay? Um, words and control L when you're in the web to turn it into a table. Control T just starts a new tab. So let's say I did this and I highlighted this column, press enter. All it does is grab the first word I actually want it to spill out and give me a separate word for every column. Um, so here's the little hack. If you do a text join to start with, so using a, uh, let's say a pipe symbol, oops, a pipe symbol to split those, ignore empty, uh, sure, let's go for true. And let's just highlight these. Okay, it's all done that. What I'm gonna do, is split it into columns by the space and split it into rows by the pipe. If I wrap this, just nudge this across a bit in a text split. Okay, the IntelliSense sometimes is a little bit slow on this, but there we go. That's the text, comma, into the columns, I'm going to use spaces, and into the rows, I'm going to use the pipe. Okay, press enter. Awesome. Okay, but those NAs are ugly. So there's an optional, optional padding at the end. So comma, ignore empty, comma, match mode, comma, pad with. It says by default NA is used to pad out the array. I just want to pad it with a double space. Double quote, sorry. There we go. That's pretty awesome. Um, and you can reference it with other things. Oh, it's just opens up a lot of opportunities. Okay, this is pretty cool. Hope you like it. Hope you find that little hack useful. Let others know about this channel. Catch you later.